Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here with our little sled team and we're actually about ready to enter another race and so far so good everyone has been doing well we're getting everyone settled into their spots and uh, Chase and Aeon are both not exactly where we eventually want them to end up <laughs> but uh, they're doing all right for the time being they may not be in their natural position, but they're at least able, and so for the time being, we're going to leave them there. And some of you guys have been asking why we don't just release dogs when we uh, when they're not um, in their proper position. I find it more interesting to continue to work with the dogs rather than just straight up releasing them and try, try to work with the challenges that the game throws at you. So that's why we're not doing that. Um, it's just a little bit more interesting, and it presents a little bit more of a challenge, because otherwise it's a little bit too easy sometimes. So, what I think we're going to do is, um, we'll go ahead and, I think we'll train everyone. No one has fatigue, so we'll train them to the next, uh, the next race there. And a lot of you guys have said that you do have a training and caretaking perk, so we're definitely going to keep everybody working with us whenever we can. So let's go ahead and tree farm to somewhere, four dogs, and yeah, we've got a lot of room. So we'll go ahead, or we've got, it's, it's, it's I said we've got a lot of room. <laughs> I was thinking about how we need to expand our kennel. Uh, we don't have a lot of room in the kennel right now. We need to, uh, we need to, um, we need to be able to expand that at some points. So we need to earn some more money, so this would be a good amount of income. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a super hard race. So let's go ahead and enter. And everyone's in their proper positions. Low exhaustion. Everybody's got specialty. I think we should be good. So here we go. Oh, and it's a night race. And our rival is here. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, to have to be on the top of our game right now. Okay. Not quite at the same time, but still decently good. That was pretty close. Uh, but I do definitely want to try and get some fame, especially for Chase, because Chase really likes getting fame. And so we want to try and get that for him. Okay, oh, watch the toe line. Watch the toe line. There we go. Oh, and we have Aeon's skill coming out, okay? Yes, we got both of them. That's good. And it looks like, I think that's the Tango Free skill, right? I think that is. Okay. All right, and they're getting to be ready for more treats. Oh, and we... Oh, no, we missed Chase. Sorry. Sorry, dude. We missed you. I didn't mean to do that. And we got everybody there. We gotta try and uh, try and get Shasta and Chase to catch at the same time because that will give them both... Or, well, that will give Chase fame. It'll give them both fame, but they... Uh, Chase in particular. Yes! There we go. He likes getting fame. And so we want to try and make sure we do that when we can. Oh, no! Oh, we made it. Oh, we missed Rory. I'm sorry, Rory. There we go. We're still good. And we got some skills showing up. Okay, let's feed you. Oh, nope. All right. No, we're missing. We're getting thrown off kilter. <laughs> oh, no. All right, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're getting things sorted out. And we're in second. It looks like it's going to probably be a close race with our rival right at the end. All right, there we go. We got both of them. I just want to stay a little bit ahead and keep the two groups that are spaced out. So the two sets that we throw the treats to, I want to keep them a little bit spaced out. And here we go, you guys. Here we go. And we're well ahead. Oh, man. We got lots of fame there. We did miss at the end there. And he's not going to be happy. Nope, he's pretty upset. <laughs> And it looks like Rory's gained specialty, so she is definitely doing really well. And the reason we have Rory in the wheel, as opposed to Chase or one, or Aeon, who are also both naturals at the wheel, is because while they're both able at the middle, Rory is actually able at lead, which means she's not very good at the middle. And so it's a lot better to have her in the back and have them at a, a position where they're at least doing semi-good, even if it's their, not their natural, rather than having her doing actually bad. <laughs> so uh, there we go, and I think everybody did fine. I don't think we have any fatigue. Looks like just one times on each of them. Happiness is doing great. We've got some more fame level. We got more fatigue capacities. Everything is looking good, and uh, so that's very good. That's exactly what we want to see. And, oop, and we got something. We're writing something down. I beat that jerk in a race again yesterday. The crowd loves our rivalry, so my team got more famous. Oh, man, that's always a good thing, because then we get sponsorships. Oh. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do that, well, I might do that closer to uh, to the dues here, because I want to see if maybe we can expand our kennel this time, too. So I want to be a little bit cautious. And so I talked earlier about... Um, 
and I talked earlier about not releasing dogs or not, um, I guess, is it releasing? What, what do you call it? Uh, not, not taking them off the team, basically. But uh, one thing that I do want to say with that is, if we continue with this save, because so far you guys have really been loving this game. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been very, very excited to see me playing this game and really getting into it. And so assuming we continue with this in the future, what we may start doing as time goes on is we might start releasing dogs that we've had on the team for a long time to simulate aging because there's only so much t period in a dog's life where they'll, they'd actually be able to race like this before they just start getting old and they're not quite as they're not quite as fit as they used to be. They they they're getting to the point where they kind of would probably retire, and so we might simulate that if we continue to play this game into later seasons. We, and uh, if we keep going for a long period of time, we might start releasing dogs that are getting older just to simulate them kind of retiring from the race. And uh, so that would be where breeding would become important because then we want to have we'd be having to work with new dogs at the same time. But we'd also then um, we could be breeding for qualities with or for certain qualities without just completely filling up our um, <laughs> without just completely filling up our, our kennel super fast or anything. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead. We'll enter this race. I think three dog team. So. I, I don't know who we'll bring this time. Um, you are not going to be in the lead, Eon. <laughs> um, Alright, you know what, we'll, we'll put Chase in the middle because he has had less experience with that than, um, uh, than Aeon has. So we'll definitely um, we'll put him in the middle and let him get a little more experience there. Shasta and Rory are going to be good. We'll go ahead and start. Oh, and I should have made sure that we had um, Aeon training, but I don't think it'll be that huge of a deal. All right. Oh, and we already have a skill. And I think, is yours the one where we can feed you more for a speed boost? I think yes. There we go. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to be ready for that, but uh, I guess you can only feed him once when he's like that. And he'll give a speed boost. There we go. All right. And we got a tree. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, and Rory caught it after it bounced off a tree. My goodness. Chase, I'm sorry. Oh, Chase got it. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to smack you with a treat. I thought you hadn't caught it. <laughs> All right. I think we're okay, though. And uh, so far, so good. Oh, and let's jump. Oh, my goodness. Shasta, nice one. Oh, sorry. Oh, Rory, I'm sorry. I thought you, were, I thought you weren't quite that hungry. Well, Rory will get to rest an extra day there, I, I guess. Um, it's nice to have a trainer. Oh, we keep missing Rory for whatever reason. It's nice to have an additional caretaker because that'll be good. Um, because then we can actually afford to rest her and have her actually be caretaking rather than have her have to sit out two days and lose even more training to just rest naturally. She can get to go and be pampered a little bit and uh, then be ready. All right, there we go. And all right. So be thinking too. Be thinking as you guys are watching this, because like I said, I do want to get into the breeding, and I hope we can continue this generationally for quite some time. So be thinking about what dogs you think might be a might be a good matchup. Be that uh, through their abilities and their skills, and their what potentially would some, be some of the easier flaws versus the more difficult ones, and also which dogs just seem to get along really well and seem like they, they could potentially be good mates. So definitely be thinking about that because we will get into the breeding as we go further along, and uh, so we'll do that at some point, but uh, definitely definitely be thinking about that because that is something we'll want to, we'll want to be doing at some point, so be considering how that might work out. Oh, and Shasta's gained up a lead specialty. Uh, we got a little extra fatigue for Rory there, so we'll have her rest for a day. And yeah, so we're doing pretty well with everyone, I think. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get our regimen set up properly. And we should have another sponsorship offer coming up. So Aeon was just, uh, just resting. So let's get Aeon over here. And then, no, 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 I want to train. There we go. And then caretaking, we're going to put, or no, we'll, we'll leave... Actually, we'll... Well, I'll put all of them in care... Okay. I'm, no, I'm going to caretake. Okay, I'm, I'm losing what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put all of them in caretaking here because we get a training bonus. And okay, here we go. We got a sponsorship offer. Um, Nope, we're going to keep our food bag. I really like having the better food bag. And so then we'll move several of the dogs back to training with us for today. We'll let Rory get an extra day's worth of rest. 
and I think that'll be good. Let's just make sure we go through and pet everyone because that's always good to bond with our dogs and make sure they're nice and happy. Um, okay, Chase is good, Shasta's good, Rory needs to rest a little bit more, so we'll go ahead and proceed. And now we should be good. Everybody can come back and start training with us again. Rory needs to get a little bit back into shape, but not too bad. Not nearly as bad as if she'd had to rest that off without having a without having actual caretaking. And we've got another race coming up. So we actually have enough to expand the kennel right now, but I don't want to do it because we have our dues coming up and I don't think we'll have enough to be able to pay them off. So we'll have to do that um, after we get our, our dues paid. Why won't you let me pet Rory? I want to pet, I want to pet Rory. Or, yeah, that's Rory. <laughs> uh, for a second I thought it was Shasta. Why won't you let me pet Rory? Oh, I guess Rory doesn't want pets today. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and proceed. Um, three dog team. Okay, we'll go ahead and enter. And again, oh, nope, not you, Eon. We want Rory. Again, I'm going to leave Chase in once again. We do want to make sure we get Aeon back in the races, but I want to get Chase caught up to her and experience here. So, here we go. I think we'll be alright. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, no, sorry, Rory. Okay, there we go. Well, we got a perfect for her at least anyway. I threw the others a little bit too soon. And it is hard to get Chase fame in a, a three-dog race like this. It's a lot easier when you can do the catches... All right, and Rory, there we go. It's a lot easier when you can do the catches with um with a larger team. So both Chase and Aeon are a little bit are going to be a little bit um a little bit disappointed, I think, by the time they get to the next race. But I, I don't think that'll be too terrible. There we go. All right, three in a row. We're doing well, and we're passing other teams, so that's good. All right, here we go. We can do this. All right, Tangle Free. I think I threw that too far. I'm sorry, Shasta. All right, there we go. Oh, we got uh, some fame for them, but not for Chase, unfortunately. Uh, next time we get a four-dog race, we'll definitely get his fame up. Don't worry. Unfortunately, fame can be a rather difficult thing for a middle dog, so that would probably be a trait we'd want to try and breed out eventually for the future generations. And we got into first right at the last second. Uh, but yeah, so some of those traits will be easier or harder to to work with, and so that's what would come into breeding generationally down through the um, down through the the generations as we do different seasons of this. And I think that could be kind of fun. You guys will have to tell me what you think about that idea of doing it a generational system like we do with uh, with some of our other games, but a little bit less intense. <laughs> um, the other ones are more life or death. This is just eventually a racing career will uh, will come to an end and dogs will get older and tired and, and need to retire. All right, Raleigh told me more about Aurora and the lake incident. Three rescue teams trusted her and followed her as she led them across the treacherous ice. Several... Several later? Oh, several later said she kept looking up at the sky, all full of northern lights. The victims and their aides all made it back alive. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So Aurora is a real hero. Now we can pet Rory. There we go. It's going to let us pet her. All right, let's keep... Oh, we should have put... We should have put Aeon on training. All right, I'm going to put Aeon back here, and then we'll... No, I want to train. There we go. And then you have to hit back to here, and then we'll let these guys all rest. There we go, and here we are. All right, and we do have to pay our dues, and we don't have quite enough to expand the kennel and pay dues, so we're not gonna expand it just yet. Uh, but maybe we'll get to do that in this episode if we manage to uh, keep, okay, I wanted, to, there we go. <laughs> I'm still getting used to what buttons to click when, but we might be able to do it in this episode. All right, bills are due, okay, fine. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll be we'll be okay. Well, let's pay our dues, and we should be able this time to actually expand the kennel. So, let's go ahead and we'll train everyone up before the big race. We should be able to get Rory up to a new skill capacity, and I think maybe Chase, too. Probably not Shasta, and definitely not Aeon. So, let's go ahead and continue. Everyone's doing well. And there we go. We'll, we'll proceed again. Oh, let's make sure we're petting everyone, saying hello to everyone. I think some dogs like petting too, and so, like as their favorite thing, and so that's like an ideal one to have. <laughs> All right, it's another three dog team. Darn it. Okay. I really. Okay, not yet. Is this one three dogs? Why does it keep having three dog teams? Okay. Well, hmm. 
We're going to bring Aeon out on this one, I think. So let's go ahead and we'll race. And, okay, yeah, let's, or let's go, okay, so Aeon, okay, yeah, that's good. And then we'll have Greg do some training with Chase. There we go, and keep his skills up. And, okay, let's swap these guys out. There we go. And then we'll switch out again. But I want I want Ian to get some victory so that she doesn't get uh, disappointed as well and have more chance for fault coming out because that'd be bad. Especially if the next race that we have that's a, a four dog is going to be one where it seems like a Chase might have uh, his fault come out because he might be a little disappointed at not having gotten fame recently. All right. So far, so good. Everything's going well. I think we'll be okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait here. There we go. This should be perfect. There we go. And we got to everyone. Actually, that wasn't. I was. I jumped the gun a little bit still. All right. And I'm going to wait until we get past the tree. And now we should be about ready. Okay, I did get it to him in, in good timing. And we got it to Rory, too. So that's good. I keep missing the perfects, though. I'm, I get a little bit too overeager. You know, after having the four dog races, three dog races feel really quiet and really calm. <laughs> and we got a tree. Okay, you got to stay forward. We got some perfects in there. And, okay, we can feed you for an extra boost, right? Yep. And you'll boost and get some extra speed there. There we go. And we're in second already and already almost up to first. You can see the first place... Uh, the current, the current leader is back there. All right, we're so close. And we're in first, right in time to cross the finish line. So they're pretty neck and neck, but we tend to win most of the time. There's only been one or two times that we haven't. So Rory's happy. And Aeon, I think, is happy too. Everyone, everyone's good because she got victory. We got consecutive catches and perfect catches. There we go. All right. And potential sponsorship. Nope, I'm sorry. I don't want a level 4 sled. <laughs> I, I, I like the, the food bag. Hmm. Um. You know what? Yes. I'm feeling adventurous. Uh, let's see if we can qualify. So, it would take a lot of our funds, but we should be able... Yeah, we're gonna... We'll enter the qualifying. Okay, Shasta, you need to be in the front. Chase, you can go back here. Everyone's low exhaustion, so that'll be good. I think this'll be fine, because then we'll start to get funds more, more quickly if we get to this league as well, if we get to League 4. Okay, oh, and already we can feed you. Did you get it? Yes, you got it. Okay, there we go. And, oh, nope, we didn't quite make it to A on there. All right, and Rory's ready for some. There we go. And her skill is out. Okay, I'm not going to throw it up there just yet. We're going to wait with Shasta a little bit longer. And, okay, that wasn't quite in time. But if we can do that at some point here, then we should be good with um, with Chase. So let's see. Here we go. I'm not going to throw it just yet. Give it a little bit longer. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Oh, my goodness. That was a little bit chaotic. Okay. All right. Are you ready? You guys are ready. Rory, I'm sorry. I missed you. There we go. Oh, stay forward. I missed that tangle. It happened so fast. Okay, that was not a good thing. All right, we got a tree. And let's throw up here and then there. And we got some fame. That's good. All right. And fame there. All right, we're in third. And you guys have told me that we have to get all the way to first in time. Otherwise, we won't actually, um, we won't actually qualify. So we've got to get up to first. Oh, we're so close, though. We're doing great. We just got to hold on a little bit longer and a little bit more boost. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, just in the nick of time, we made it into first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Shasta's all excited. And we qualified for League 4. So we have, like, no money now. But it should have pushed back our dues as well, I think. And so it looks like everyone's doing well. Everyone, Everyone's doing well. We got some rapport going up, so that's good. And employees with better perks are available for hire. Okay, let's see. How much is it going to... Ooh. That's 2000 a month. Okay, and training. Will might be a good one. All right. You're more expensive. Um, all right. So, okay. Will is more expensive. I'm going to take a look because we'll see. Okay. I might remove him from staff. <laughs> I might, but I also want to see. Let's look at the races. 24. Okay, so yeah. 
that's a lot. And I think that would be good. So 24 tw or 2800. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. So if we can do well in those, then I think it'll be worth it. Um, I'm going to wait for one more race, though. So let's go ahead. We'll have everyone rest with us here. And we're writing in our journal again. Okay. That jerk in said in the paper today, there are some mushers who really show off the luck involved with winning races. You all know who I mean. I can't stand you. Oh my goodness. That's just rude. That is just rude. Oh, he, he is going down, man. He's going down. Okay, we've got some who still have... Okay, Chase doesn't actually have any fatigue. So let's go ahead and we'll swap to caretaking. And so we'll put Rory, Aeon, and Shasta. There we go. Oh, I guess we probably didn't ever actually end up caretaking with uh, with those. So after the one other race. So let's get everybody trained up. Oh, and we'll make sure we're petting everyone. And I'll go ahead and we'll do one more race here and then end off the episode. Possibly get a new employee as well who will have some better perks. So let's see. Let's get everybody back training. Enough rest. Time to time for you guys to get back in action. <laughs> no, these guys, I, they really seem to love what they're doing. They, they're they so happy. They, they always are so excited to get out there and race. You can see it. Um... And honestly, that's the case with a lot of sled dogs, is they're not even happy if you leave them sitting around. <laughs> if you leave them to rest, they'll be bored and they'll be running all over. And a lot of those breeds, actually, if you're not careful, they can get really destructive if they get bored. Um, so let's see. Snow quality's good. Um, we'll go ahead and enter it and just see. All right, Shasta, you need to be in the front. And Rory, you and Chase can swap. There we go. We should be good. Let's go ahead and... Oh, you guys should swap, actually. We'll go ahead and start this race. It is at night, and it's gonna be pretty intense, I feel. Oh my goodness, we're going really fast. <laughs> and, okay, here we go. Actually, I'm not gonna throw it just yet. There we go. Now we can go. And... Not quite fame. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, Aeon, quickly! Quickly, quickly, quickly! No! Aeon, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh no, she did get tired. Okay, we'll have to give her an extra day's of rest then. All right, let's see, here we go. And at the same time, yes, that's good fame. And Rory got it, oops, so then we don't need to throw another. I thought she was gonna miss it for a second there. And okay, Eon needs it. Did we get her? Okay, can you go forward just a little bit? Sometimes if you pull them forwards or backwards, then that will make it, uh, that'll make it them either catch it or not catch it. Oh no, Shasta, I'm sorry. Oh, this is getting more intense, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay, this is definitely more intense than the previous leagues. Oh man, I'm I'm not used to this, you guys. I this is getting a little bit uh, a little bit intense here. Okay, let's throw it to these two. And not quite at the same time, but still pretty good. Alright, let's throw it to you two. And not quite at the same time again. We're still in second. Um, but we gotta we gotta get ready. Okay, here we go. There's the first place team. Oh no no no. Don't 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 trip me on, please. Um Oh my goodness, and here we go. Oh, come on, hurry, you guys. Into first at the last second and some fame as well. Did we get any for Chase? I hope so, because that makes him happy. Let's skip through this. We don't need to see the whole thing every time. And he did get fame. He's up to fame level six. Everybody's doing fine. All right. And we'll have a sponsorship offer coming up soon, but not just yet. We'll have to give Eon and Shasta a little bit of rest. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.